Is yeah. it okay? It's nice, but you have too much fat there to show. <laughs> but it's Thank nice. Thank you. It's nice. So fat, nice. Some really good over there. Okay, like this. Let me just better, but this will be work. Can use this for garnish instead of throwing it away. We can use this for garnish. Okay, first we gotta prepare our chicken. Now we have the the, the back bone in here which you need to take out. You got you don't chop the bone. You don't want the small pieces of bone inside the meat. So we look here for the joint and we cut inside the joint. Just we don't want too much fat. If the skin will shrink anyhow, 
fit this. This we can put in. Uh... Okay. Uh, we sorted this first. The bacon will flavor all the oil and also we, we render the fat from the bacon. This will be our garnish, but we cook it now because we want to have the bacon fat. We want to have the flavor of the bacon in our uh, colored chicken. We will enhance the flavor a little bit, a little bit of smokiness. We just make it nice. Here, yeah, these are small, nice and small shape. They will be cooked fairly quickly. Mushrooms are small, if you have small ones, small button mushrooms, you can put them in whole. We have big ones, so we cut them. We have, uh, I think, 10 mushrooms, so we have five, so each one of you has two. <laughs> and with the shallots, if you have a little bit more than this, is nice too. Okay, let's start cooking. We have the mushrooms as well. The mushroom has moisture inside, so mushroom uh, contains a lot of moisture, so you have to be careful that you need some to spread off, so you don't burn it. So. You know, this garnish we don't need to season because the bacon already has salt inside. Yeah. Then you get the, uh, the, 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 the aroma now also from the mushrooms. The bacon starting to crisp up. Uh, before we serve it, we will hot again. So the mushrooms will then cook a little bit more. You have to make sure they cook, otherwise if butter mushrooms they will turn black. You can smell, it's like the aroma from the mushroom comes out now as well. There is the bacon, the mushrooms, you have the shallots. So this week will give all flavor to the oil. So in the Chinese kitchen, you see very often you see them heating the oil first. Yeah. This one is to remove the raw taste of the oil. If you taste the oil like this, it tastes very raw. So if you cook it first, you take off that rawness and you add the aromas inside and the aromas stay in the oil uh, for, the, for the next dish to, uh, to be flavor with it. So I take this out. I keep the fat inside. You can see we've got a bit of fat now. This is a thick 
pop and send the clip on this side. Good, then we need to process our chicken. So it's quite simple. We season it with some sauce on both sides. Now when you season you go high up. Because if you go like this, you see some place you have a lot, some place you have nothing, so you've got to go high. Yeah, now with the pepper as well, we don't put too much because we're going to roast it and the pepper can, can burn when you roast it hot. Our sauce, so we get a nice brown sauce. Now we do it a very classic way today. Uh, very often now in the hotels you use a demi glass or an espanol to make this sauce. So uh, that's a faster way of doing it, an easier way of doing it. This way we do it a bit more, a little bit more labor side. Stick to your pan, and you're gonna have the skin intact. And slowly. So you need enough oil, otherwise, if you have not enough oil, not enough fat in the pan, it will stick. Because this is a stainless steel pan, not a cast iron pan or a nonstick pan. But I'm doing it in this pan because I want all the flavors to stay in here. Uh, all the flavors to stay in this pan and we cook it with this pan as well. So you see all these things which are sticking on the bottom, this will all give flavor to our sauce. Let's just touch more. From the pepper now because we don't have fine pepper hole, so we have those dark dark, dark dots in there. Uh, they will fall off when we cook it in the stove, so it should not be visible after. Uh, traditionally as well, this chicken, we take this leg, we take the, we take the spices and marinate it overnight. Okay. Overnight. Then the, the chicken skin will become very dark and very red. But you need a wine from grapes, not a Dalat wine. A Dalat wine is made from berries, uh, from, from blackberries and, and, and fruits like that. So it will be more, more brown. But if you marinate this overnight, 
So we have a very nice dark burgundy color from the wine. And uh, this will also enhance the color of your chicken then when you when you when you roast you really need to do so the same way. Uh, when you marinate it you have to marinate. So the wine is only the wine is your, your, your marinade. So you take the chicken out of the marinade, you put it aside, you dry it with a paper towel or a clean kitchen towel. Then you marinate, you bring it to the boil. Because inside the marinade now you have uh, protein like blood, things like that from the chicken. And if you leave this one in the marinade for cooking the sauce, the sauce, the color of the sauce may not be so nice. So when you, when you boil this one up, it becomes almost clear. You take the foam off and you use this instead of the wine. <laughs> it's, 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 it sounds difficult, but it's, a, it's actually quite an easy dish to do. It's uh, interesting. It, it is, uh, especially if you marinate, you have a much nicer taste, a much stronger flavor of the wine. Good afternoon. Sorry. Marinade. The marination is important. The marination overnight. Then you can get that nice uh, dark color. And of course, also the wine penetrates the chicken partially, and you have a stronger flavor from the wine. Red wine. We use red wine for this. Okay, so this is our chicken. Okay, so this is... And then into this pan, we add our mirepoix. This is a dark mirepoix, but it's carrot, celery, and onion. Those are white mirepoix, which excludes the, the carrots. Okay, the mushroom I keep on the side a little bit, they will burn. So we brown this one nice and early. Uh, we cut this one nice, I cut this, we should all be a little about the same size. Okay, now this is this is more this is a, this is a small mirepoix, more, more than a small mirepoix, it's a smaller cut, and mirepoix is a little bit bigger, but we do a chicken. So this is uh, a, a good size for that. It's, uh, it's a it, 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 it takes quite some time to do for vegetables. But it's worth it that you do that well. Uh, and mirepoix is always without leg. Leg does not belong into a mirepoix. Because mirepoix is a roasting vegetable. If you roast leg, it will become black. Black vegetable in your sauce will make your sauce bitter. So that's very important. You have to be careful. You need, you need a nice brown color, but not black. Black can make your sauce bitter. So if I'm more careful, I should uh, put the carrot in first so that uh, uh, when I put the garlic and the garlic uh, uh, later, it will not burn. Uh, well, it doesn't matter, you can roast it at the same time. It's okay, but uh, just have to look. We're going to have some dark pieces in here, but not too many. That's from the onions. And again, you see, you see on the bottom here, this, this will all be flavor to our sauce. Everything but sticks down here. So, back here. You can roast them in the oven. It will be easier. Here you only have the heat from the bottom. You only have the contact heat. In the oven you have the radiation heat. So the heat is all the way around. It will be easier for roasting. Yeah, 
Yes, yeah, so it's all already a little bit nice and brown. So this is enough for what we need here. And we add some tomato paste. Don't put too much. It is double concentrated tomato paste on the can if you say 28 to 30 percent concentrate. So we call it a double concentrate. So this is uh, the difference if you have the Chinese one, the small cans, the small red cans. <clears throat> they are only very light, they're not double concentrate and uh, it's more difficult to get a color and the more difficult with the flavor out. Now here you can smell, you can smell the tomato flavor. Yeah. You also have to look with, uh, with this, uh, you have to be careful, you cannot put too much tomato paste because tomato paste is high in acid, so you could also make the sauce sour. But it is important that you roast it uh, to give you a, a nice color. If you have a nice brown tomato paste, the sauce will also be nice and brown. If you don't roast it enough, you will end up with a red. You see the tomato paste starts to brown. Okay, now this is the moment. Now we're gonna step back a little bit. This one will help us part of the acid. Okay. And our red line. Use this by about half, and then uh, we add some of the chicken. So you can see now already the color. This is the color we want for our sauce a nice round color. Here we have uh, this is actually too much, it's too okay. strong, we don't need a little bit. Cook it out. Uh, doesn't matter. You can serve this one also the children because you cook it for a long time so the alcohol will evaporate. You can see also now on the bottom all these things, those sediments we take out. And they go all into the sauce, helping with the flavor of our sauce. The sauce will reduce anyhow, and you can see the color. The color remains. Okay, then we add our chicken inside. Any juice you have, you put also in. Again, this is flavor. Flavor you. Okay, so we bring this to a boil. Uh, Nice. Now, if you have a foam on top, you would skim that foam uh, and turn it over so we can have that, that chicken top the presentation side inside the sauce. So, this is the mushroom, the mushroom end cuts, the, the bay leaf, peppercorn, and the, uh, and the, the, the bay, leaf, bay leaf, peppercorn, and flour. Okay, then we reduce the temperature of this and we cover it as we Okay. okay. Now it's your turn for this. Okay. 
This is a classic cut. Uh, potato. It is not difficult, but you need practice. So it will not, it will not look very nice when you do it the first time. Yeah. Now cut the ends. Okay. Now, if you use peeled potato, these end cuts you can make mashed potato after. Yeah. So we don't do that today. So we just do like this now. You hold the potato like this. You don't go like this. You have to do like this. Yeah? This one you hold the potato. This one is your guide. Okay? Then you go from the top. One smooth cut you go down. Okay? You cut the corner. And you cut this corner again. And the next corner. And the next corner. Then we have one nice potato. Okay, this one is too green, eh? this one cannot serve, yeah. but this for showing is okay. Yeah? One more time. We cut the bottom. Make it straight. You hold it. This one is your guide. Yeah? This one, this, this finger, this one is pulling your knife. the knife. You're pulling the knife. That's important. Okay? You cut the corner here. Cut the corner there, cut another corner until we have a nice size, yeah? Okay, because we use end cuts, we use all the parts, but even this is a nice size, yeah? A nice shape too. But we don't want to waste any potatoes, so we use like this, okay? Important is that you have a sharp knife. Uh, if you want to practice that at home, you can sit in front of the TV and you take an egg. <laughs> it's the same, the same shape as an egg, for the same movement you can practice. Yeah? Okay, so now it's your turn. How times uh, what does happen now? Sorry? What's this people? Uh, can I ask about a knife? Yes. Yes, just one for six people. I only have one knife. The school yes. should have more, but... <laughs> How we can do? <laughs> no, we do one by one. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. First one start, the next one we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So this one can make, can make two, this okay. one two. <laughs> this one can make four. Four. Okay. okay. Now we do like two to get smaller ones. We do like this. Okay, this one you use the hole. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, you hold, you hold it like this because you need to turn it. This is your turning finger. Yeah? Don't, you, you want to cut here, it's too far. You only want to break the corner. Yeah? You only cut the corner. Okay, next corner. Just cut, don't worry about it, we can clean after. Put it a plate, we have a plate for this. You have to continue with this corner. Yeah? You have to continue here. Okay. I'm gonna cut your finger here, you only do two fingers. Okay, enough. Just leave like this, not bad. 
This one is just too small. You don't need to cut a lot. Yeah? Okay. Not bad. One more. Uh, not very. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Stop. <laughs> you start on your right handed, you start on this side and you go continue. Yeah? You have to hold it. To f this, this one is dangerous here. You're going to cut your finger. You have to hold it with two fingers like this. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Yeah, just you have to cut a little bit here. A little bit more, you have to cut more there. Careful your finger, your hand there. You have to hold it up. You have to cut more in that corner. You gotta be careful with the uh, work safety. So this one here, it's a little bit too wide, yeah? You have to cut more here. And you cut two more time here, okay? But hold, hold it like this. Because if you hold like this, you're gonna cut. Yeah, this knife is sharp. Yeah? Yeah. You got three fingers to hold it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here. This one is down here. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay. No pain. You clean up here. It's okay for the first time. This one on the side. You just drain the sauce. as the sauce as possible. Okay, so this one, this is worth nothing. It's, it's, it's a, it has a brown color. It's a little bit oily. You have to be careful with you from the tomato. Yeah. So we have this one, is, this is called Bermanie. In English it's called netted butter, or you butter your net. Uh, this one is an easy way as a thickener for our sauce. Well, the sauce is cold and the Bermanie is hot to prevent any lumps. Okay, this one is easy to crumble in. Fold. And start to thick it. Now after this, after we put the Bermanier again, we will, uh, we will strain the sauce. Because there's always some lumps in there. You see, the sauce starting to thicken. Okay, now, if we work with burn manier with flour, we must cook it for at least 15 minutes. Mm. Otherwise you can have the raw flour taste in your sauce or in your soup, whatever you use it for. So we go in here, we simmer it, so don't make it too thick now. Don't put too much uh, burn manier in, because it's going to reduce a little bit. Should it get too thick, you add a little bit chicken stock. Mm. Okay, so this is good. Now you do your sauce. Your potatoes are cooking, make your sauce.
over the meat. We garnish it with our cooked mushrooms, pearl onions and bacon. Okay. We have some nice green here which you can use for garnish. This is on the celery instead of throwing it away. So very simple. Easy to uh, easy to do this. It's not difficult. It just takes time. Very simple. Okay. Before you put the brain inside, you must take out the Okay, but otherwise it's good. You take food, but you put the flour on hot food. Because if you have hot food, hot food must be served hot. Put the flour on hot food. Oh my God. Let's see it on. I feel, I've been trying to put potatoes. You say I have too much salt. Just, just, just a bit oily, but otherwise it's a nice sauce. 